The ocean is the heart of our planet. Ocean currents connect all living creatures across the earth. And the oceans are our lungs. Scientists say that there's more than 70% oxygen from ocean plants in every breath that we take. The jet lag is about traveling and diving, enjoying many adventures in the ocean. Soon we realized that if we still want to do that in the future, we would have to give something back. When we jump into the ocean and stick our head under the surface, we find the greatest diversity of life on Earth. In the sea, we are real explorers, because we can never know what we will see next. Only underwater can we have really close encounters with wild animals in their natural environment. Wherever we go, no matter how remote, we always see the destructive impact of humans. The oceans are threatened and we have to act now to turn the tide. On Gili Travangan in Indonesia, we met some great people who were fighting for a change and figuring out ideas to protect the oceans. Delphine from the Gili Eco Trust is a real eco-warrior. She also runs the BioRock project and builds artificial reefs. When we first heard of that method, we knew immediately we wanted to build our own reef with her. BioRocks are large steel structures that can take any form. Corals cannot simply settle on sand. They need a good substrate to grow on. Any solid underground can give them a chance to build a new coral colony that will later become a vibrant reef. The special thing about the BioRock is that a very low voltage current will be applied to the wireframe underwater. This will create an electric field around the artificial reef. Scientists have found out that this helps corals grow faster and become healthier. Coral reefs need our help. When the water quality drops or ocean temperatures rise, corals expel their symbiotic algae, bleach into white and die. The coral ecosystems collapse. Most reefs worldwide are threatened or already severely damaged. The best way to protect reefs is to stop pollution and overfishing and to slow global warming. Our BioRock will also have a more immediate effect. It will be placed in a shallow area where the reef has been destroyed in the past. There it will instantly create a new home for all kinds of fish and other marine animals. Coral reefs are some of the most diverse and valuable ecosystems on Earth. They are essential for healthy oceans. As soon as the power cables are connected, the current is running through our biorock. The electrolytic process between the metal and minerals in the water begins. Calcium carbonate starts to aggregate. Hard corals also use these minerals to build their limestone skeletons. We are looking for coral pieces that newly broke off their colony. Boat anchors, incautious snorkelers or divers, but also big waves or animals like turtles can damage corals. We can simply attach the pieces to the biorock structure and they will immediately benefit from the electric field. Within the electric field, corals find improved conditions and they can use much more energy for growth, reproduction and resisting environmental threats. After a few minutes, the first fish come to check out the new underwater formation.
Our Biorock is doing really well. The corals look healthy and are already home to many happy fish. Most coral pieces have grown more than 5 cm by now and have firm limestone bonds to the Biorock. The electrolysis is still going on. The process will not stop as long as the current is running. And even if the power is turned off eventually, we will have built the foundation for a new coral reef that can be on this planet longer than we are. Don't believe that the challenge to change something is too great. Everybody can make an impact every day. It is not too late if we act now. Let's save the oceans and let's inspire other people to fall in love with the sea.